luck. Sadie. Not lady. I know. And we're live. Welcome back to part 30 of the full game commentary. Here's Arthur in downtown Rhodes, where Dutch says we can't use our weapons. So inconvenient. Hey, y'all. Good day. If you are wondering why we currently have a warped brindle Arabian, it's because we completed Horseman 3 with him for another video. However, we're going to have to swap him out for someone braver in this playthrough. Let's get started. Tilly would like to play dominoes, and who are we to say no to Miss Tilly? There, Arthur. Arthur! How are you? Live. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. I like how she touches Arthur's arm here. She's not being flirty, but she's showing affection. She's showing how she feels about Arthur. I mean, she's not touching Bill's arm. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I also like how she acknowledges Arthur's authority and status by pointing out that Miss Grimshaw won't interfere if she's relaxing with Arthur. believe the domino survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. The most interesting aspect of this encounter for me is Tilly's camp request. And the only strategy I have for dominoes is get rid of your highest tiles first. I don't even bother watching the board. <laughs> The Master Gambler challenges are my least favorite of the challenges. However, I found that when I finally get to around to completing the Gambler series, I always enjoy it more than I expected to. I usually save it for John, and then I wish I did it with Arthur. And we have plenty of necklaces, so let's give one to Tilly. I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. And Tilly has a couple health cures and some honor for us. Good enough. I like Miss Tilly. Kieran has been bugging us about going fishing, so we might as well get that out of the way. How you doing? Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. Arthur's default with all of the younger men in the gang is to go into Big Brother mode, where he alternately teases and protects. Kieran should be flattered, but he doesn't really know Arthur. However, Kieran is making an effort to get to know Arthur. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> this is also the only instance where we can actually see Karen being confident and self-assured. I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Oh, 
Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Regrettably, the gang hasn't really warmed up to Kieran other than Mary Beth and Karen, and of course, Bill. But I think over time, if Chapter 4 never happened, he would have become a valued member in camp support. He's great with horses, and he can always chop veggies and wash dishes for Mr. Pearson if he runs out of work. This is the place! Some beautiful smallmouth here! Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, Maybe some bread or cheese? We learned some more about Kieran's backstory and hopefully he becomes more sympathetic in your eyes. You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Calm goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Karen Vanderlyn is gonna stick. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey! Watch the light! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow! Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. And this is a curious moment. I'm not entirely certain why it's here, other than for a comic opportunity and to reference a legendary fish. It's 1899, and even though we're in the Old West, it's easy to forget that Arthur is essentially a Victorian. He's a product of his time, and he's very formal. He would have been shocked and scandalized by such brazen nudity. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. 
I got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur, let's, let's walk down to the beach. And that, my friends, was the legendary bluegill, which you can fish for if you have spoken to Jeremy Gill. This particular Arthur has not met him yet, but we have time. No. He might get lucky. Guess we'll see. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. And here is Arthur basically telling Kieran that he has a new family now. He's part of the gang, and Arthur has accepted him. Probably still going to call him an O'Driscoll, but it's good news. It's a nice moment. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. We picked up the Dark Bay Andalusian at the Strawberry Stable. Not the fastest horse in the game, but one of the strongest and bravest. He will come in handy, sooner than you think. Come back soon. That's a good horse. It's all right, girl. And now, Molly wants to talk to us. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Arthur is so formal. I'm sure he used to call her Molly when she was hanging out with Karen and Mary Beth before she moved into Dutch's tent. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... First playthrough, I really wasn't paying much attention in camp, and this was the first indication I noticed of the growing rift between Molly and Dutch. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. But it's a fake out because this mission is really all about Uncle. Look how disappointed Molly is here. She was reaching out to Arthur. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. But you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Charles looks confused. I don't think he has any patience for Uncle, and I'm sure he avoids him in camp. Bill, however, is always up for a fight. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before... <sighs> It connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. 
We should have loaded up on health items before the cutscene, but oh well. Yeah, girl. How do you get wind of this old man? man. We only been down here all of five minutes. <laughs> wow, you boys went off fishing, playing lawman, or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. And let's get the Lancaster into position, because we're gonna need it. Grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will ya? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> yeah. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything of kind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I say something? Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! There has been some questions in the comments about horse fighting, and I thought we could do a mini tutorial here. First, you need a decently brave horse. Mustangs, Ardennes, Andalusians, and Hungarians immediately come to mind. And note how this Andalusian is at level 1 and performs brilliantly. However, any horse will start veering off course when you turn around eventually, so use this sparingly and be generous with the dead eye.
Whoa! Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Oh, oh. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Just get out of sight. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh... Get some rest. Don't worry about your horse. Your horse will be fine. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ugh. Looks like we're shooting our way out. This part of the mission can be frustrating because it's so dark. If you want to conserve Deadeye, trust your auto-aim and shoot towards the gunfire. We got more of the bastards on this side! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone and up to security! More on the right here! Lost our hat. That's annoying. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army too. Can't you keep your pet feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. Another surefire plan for us, Uncle. 
Amazing how much tension this game can generate. Now we have to escape a burning building, but we're in a cutscene, the game will take over for us. And the most interesting part of this mission is one of these Pinkertons has a piebald Tobiano Hungarian half-bred. So take everyone out, but pay attention. What do we have here? Take out the rider and take note of what direction the horse bolts in. Also, obviously, don't shoot your new horse. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an again. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwon. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwon. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Bronze, don't care. Lost the hat, don't care. Arthur is all about that new horse. And here she is. I never get tired of the piebald Tobiano. She's in my top three. Also, we caught a witness, so we better scram. We shall recall the Andalusian at the stable. He'll be fine. This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where we play every other video game that isn't Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for longer format deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. And this, my friends, is a great place to stop for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Two families are fighting, there's talk of gold, Pinkertons are hot on the trail, and Arthur's in the middle. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail... We shall.
show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. <laughs> <laughs>